Hey everyone, welcome back to another Adobe XD and ProtoPy tutorial. Today we'll be designing this cool parallax horizontal scroll in Adobe XD and ProtoPy and then we will be previewing it on our phones. So without further ado, let's just get started. I also have a Telegram channel where we can chat 101 and the community shares a lot of cool stuff. So go ahead and join the Telegram chat. I'll have the link in the description. So to start off, we'll make a simple artboard. You can pick one of these artboards. I'll be picking the iPhone 10 and 10s artboard. And once I've done that, I want this to be a very light gray shade so as to give that new morphic effect that we had in our application. We need to create a container which will be the parallax container. Now what I will do is give this a shadow and the shadow shall be 12 uh, on the Y and on the blur we'll give it 24 and on the X I want it to be 12 as well. Either 12 or I'll go with a slightly lower value, something like 8. Now it's looking really good. I will reduce the opacity of the shadow from 16 to say about 8 as well. So it's a really light shadow like this. I will also duplicate this. So we have two rectangles now and I will uh, switch the values. So I'll make 12 into minus 12 like this and 8 will be minus 8 like this. So as you can see, the shadow is now on the opposite edge. I will also convert the black shadow into a white shadow like this and also increase the opacity to all, an almost 100%, close to 100%. And what I will do is then place it right above here. And now if I group these together, these will now be a single element and it gives this new morphic effect as well. Now let's create the container. We will create another rectangle which will, which will be similar to this one. So I've already added a color. If I go to the assets panel, I can see there's this pink color that I really want. In this case, uh, to give it an inner shadow, what I will do is I'll pick up the pen tool. And with the pen tool, I will basically create like two lines like this. So now we have two lines flowing like this and just curve it at the top right like this. So we have a shape like this and we will increase the border to about eight. And also I want to give it a dark pink. So what I'll do is I'll just pick up this color and just give it this dark pink just like this. Now what I'll do is I'll go to background blur, select background blur. In this case, I'll remove the fill for sure. And right here, there's an arrow right next to background blur. I click on it and there's this object blur option. I'll reduce the object blur to about, uh, let's say, 16. 16 is fine and reduce the opacity a little bit as well. Perfect. Now what I'll do is I'll duplicate this rectangle by saying command D on the keyboard and make sure that this rectangle is at the top. Now if I go to the layers panel on the left, I can see this path and this rectangle right here. I'll select both of them, right click on the page here and say mask with shape. As you can see now this, is, this has gotten this nice inner shadow effect. You can do the same thing to get white on this bottom right like this. Now the 3D objects is from a pack called Abstract Pack and this is called the 3D Survival Model Kit. Uh, it provides you 3D models as well as PNGs for that as well. As you can see, so many cool options. Of course, it's only $5 but for you guys, there is an option at the bottom called Free Sample and that is what I have downloaded as well. Uh, it'll give you these uh, free objects which you can start making your designs with. What I've done here is just gone ahead and copied one of those shapes from abstract pack and I've put it right here in the middle like this. What I'll do is just copy this over here so that we have another card right next to it. Uh, definitely I won't take it off the grid completely but I'll make sure that it's placed here. I might even place this card towards the left a little bit so that we have more space for this. I will again place uh, this other shape right inside like this. Now that we have a basic design ready and set up to go, what we'll do is select this artboard here and I'll go to file and under file, I have an option called export. And under export, if you have Protopy downloaded, you will have this option called Protopy. I'll click on Protopy and it will open in, a, in just about a second. Now, once you get this option window right here, I want you to select a high value like add 3x or add 4x, whatever you want. And under re-import options, I want you to select update layer orders and grouping structure. 
Once you have this done, just click on import and it might take a second or two, but as you can see, the design has been imported directly from Adobe XD into ProPy. The best part about this is that you can go to this device option on the top and you can change it to any device you like. For in my case, I have a Galaxy S10, so I'll just select this and say, okay. As you can see, we have the whole, whole punch cut out ready to go here with uh, anything at the top that you want to place. Okay, so for the first step, we'll create a container. On the top left, you have this container option, click on container. And as you can see, there's a container which has been created right here. And I want you to place it right around this inner rectangle right here. Just place it and make sure it's either the full height or it covers this entire shape right here. Now what I want you to do is go ahead and take this image right here and put it inside this container one. Click on container one. If you go down to the options on the right here, you can select clip sub layers and that is what you want to do. That will basically mask that layer. Now for the second image, we'll do something similar. But in this case, what we'll do is click on the container, drag it out here. And now what we're going to do is on the right here, we have, if you just scroll down a little bit, there's this radius option. I'll just maximize the radius to 100. So that'll be, it'll look more like a circle now. Drag this other image inside this container too. Perfect. If I, if I click on container too, I'll do the same thing again. Clip sub layers. Don't forget about it. Now let's get to the good part, which is the animation. So how do we create the interaction? If I go to the right here, there's this add trigger button. I'll click on it. And under this, I have fling. And that is what I want to want to choose. Once I've chosen fling, as you can see, container three, which is this card right here has been selected or you can just select it from this drop down here and the fling direction we want it to be left. So if you fling to the left, the animation will take place. Under this, we have this plus icon. I'll click on it and I, I get so many options right here. So one thing I want to do is definitely move the card from this position to the left. So as you can see, it's already selected the container for us and we will say move to. And in this case, I want it to be about uh, so let's see, let's, let's try 280 pixels uh, to the left. Ease in out cubic is fine. And uh, maybe I'll change the duration to 0 0.7 seconds. And the start delay I'll change to 0 0.15. So there'll be a slight delay in the movement of the card as compared to you swiping across. And I'll then click on preview. So preview will open up if I swipe. Ooh, see how smoothly and nicely it moves to the left. Under this, we will also make other changes to this circle. So what we'll do is we will move this circle. How do we do that? We select the circle. Circle is basically under container one. And I'll search for this ABKP. And as you can see, ABKP dented flat is what we want to choose this circle. Move to, and in this case, I want to move it slightly towards the right or at least keep it slightly towards the center. So on the X axis, I'll give this a hundred value, a hundred pixels from the left and duration should be the same. Maybe I'll give it a slightly longer duration, 0 0.8 and start delay will be 0 0.15, just like before. I'll just scroll and see how it moves inside like this. That's pretty cool. What I want to do now is animate this card as well. So what I'll do is copy this fling, say command C and then just copy it and it'll just copy it right below this. Now for in this case, I'll just change the container value. So in this case, I want container four. So I'll say container four, perfect. And I will move this to, move this to a slightly lesser value than minus 280. I'll probably move it to 38 or maybe 40. That should do. Ease in out 0 0.7 seconds, um, 0 0.15. Maybe I'll give it a slightly more value, so 0. Point uh, two five in this case for the start delay. That's fine. Okay, so right now this is still appearing like this. So what we'll do is just just uh, click on the container right here and just decrease it like this. As you can see, we'll then be able to create a circle on the top left here. And that's about it. We will also move this image, which is this ABKP cloth to the left and towards the top just a little bit, not much. And under this move, we want, we want to select the other image, which is ABKP cloth. And that's about it. And on the X, what we wanted to do, probably give it a zero. And on the Y axis also, we'll probably give it a zero as well, or maybe, I don't know, 10, 
that's that's enough i'll also increase the value here from 0.15 to 0.25 that's about it one more thing we want to do is actually scale up this mask right here so what we'll do is select container 2 which is our container for this and that's about it and what we will do is increase the width to the same width as the rectangle and the height as well so 289 by 528 so 289 by 528 remember that and we'll give these values under width and height for this scale for the scale we will give the duration of about 0.85 in this case slightly longer in 0.18 or 0.2 in this case as well so if i preview this now and i scroll or swipe we we'll see how it basically comes up uh, you can make you can reverse this just by copying it and reversing all the animations manually so that was it for today's video if you like this video go ahead and subscribe to the channel i post every monday and thursday like this video if you did and i'll see you in the next video god bless